Floyd Mayweather Jr., you have my number. If you want to meet me in Vegas, I'll fly out there, I'll buy that ticket, and I'll meet you, is what Stephen A. Smith said to a live national TV audience on ESPN's first take. He said this in response to what Floyd Mayweather had said to FightHype.com, quote, Listen, I don't give two flying fucks what Stephen A. Smith said. I've never seen Stephen A. Smith dribble a basketball, catch a football, or box. So I can give two flying fucks what Stephen A. Smith said, unquote. And what did Stephen A. Smith say that was so horrible that got underneath Floyd Mayweather's skin? It's been the same thing over and over and over and over again. Stephen A. Smith has said that he wants Floyd Mayweather to give the fans what they want. And what they want is that super fight, is that mega fight. With him, Floyd Mayweather Jr., and Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. And today, Stephen A. Smith, in his own way, he went off saying that he's not backtracking. And he's not taking back what he said to Floyd Mayweather. And he's standing by what he says. And then added that nobody wants to watch the rinky-dink fight between Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Amir Khan at the end of Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s career. He also brought up that no, he doesn't hate Floyd Mayweather. And he's not hating on Floyd Mayweather. As a matter of fact, if anyone has watched ESPN's first take before, you know that Stephen A. Smith is a huge mark for Mayweather. He went on to commend Mayweather for beating Miguel Cotto and beating Saul Alvarez, but still stood firm and said that he and the rest of the boxing fans want to see Floyd Mayweather step into the ring next. Next versus Manny Pacquiao. And I'm, I'm saying it's not going to happen in 2015. There's just too much shit right now. There's just too much shit right now that people want to ignore. Like I said, nobody controls Floyd Mayweather's mind or his career but himself and possibly Al Heyman. Al Heyman guides his career. Al Heyman advises his career. For him to think that he has to go back and help give Bob Arum money, put money in Arum's pocket to fight Pacquiao, I know he's not going to do it. The only time this fight is going to happen ever is if... Manny Pacquiao leaves top rank, but Pacquiao just recently signed an extension. So why do you guys keep asking for this fight if you know it's not going to happen?